Next. Here we are up in the Charles S. National Forest, Montana. Missouri River breaks. I believe this is a this is the only building we saw in here for miles and miles and miles. Look at that old log cabin building. Imagine what the people were like that lived in that. That's all that's there. Just the roof is gone. Look at the background scenery. You can see mountains. What a fantastic place. We haven't seen that. We've been driving up here for several hours, Viv and I. We haven't even seen a deer. Look at this. This is all national forest here for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles. Unbelievable. That's really something. I don't know what range of mountains that is. I think it's the Bull Mountains. But again, I think that that cabin, he said, whoever it was set up around top of this and all of it. They even had a window on both sides and a door. Pretty something. What country. There goes Viv. She's going to take a walk and Lynn and Judy come back too quick. They've seen a nice buck, I guess, and didn't get a shot at it. That's too bad. I think she was glad to come up out of that top. It's awful steep in here. See how she looks. Oh, her hair don't look that bad. <laughs> Montana greater style, Vern. Way out here in the Skyberians, here this guy's coming along as dry as a bone, and he's grading the roads. This is a big grader. A lot of power. It's dry too. I, I was really surprised that that would that he'd be out there grading with that thing. It's a big one, ain't it? Just taking his time. He must grade for miles one day and then and then come back the next day. There ain't nothing out here. Just wild, open, nothing country. Really something.